Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and to another cleaning video. Today I'm going to be cleaning the main areas of my house, my kitchen, dining, and living room. Things have gotten a little messy in these areas, so I'm going to be picking those up today. When I'm cleaning these areas, I always like to start in the kitchen, and I'm just picking up all of the things that have been left out on the countertops, and I like to use this basket to take anything that's on the lower level and carry it upstairs, just so it's easier and I only have to take one basket instead of a million little things. Now that I have everything cleaned off of all the countertops, I'm just loading the dishwasher with some of the dirty dishes that were in the sink, and then washing any of them that I do by hand. After I get all of the dishes out of the sink, I like to go in and clean my sink. And here I'm using the cleaner Spick and Span, and I picked mine up at Dollar Tree. And I like to let that sit in the sink for about 10 minutes before I go in and scrub it down. And then I just rinse all of the cleaner out. Just watch me break. I'm wiping down all of my countertops and I'm using the Mrs. Meyers all-purpose cleaner and the scent mint. wiping down my oven with the Mrs. Meyers all-purpose cleaner in mint once again and I'm taking off some of the knobs and wiping any of the grease splatter that's underneath them away. I cannot stand when there's grease splatter all over the stainless. It drives me nuts. I'm using that same cleaner to wipe down my refrigerator and get any of the little fingerprints from my sun off. Next up is my microwave. My husband is not very good about covering his food when he heats it up in the microwave, so I needed to clean any of that splatter in there out. What's a cleaning video without a little bit of laundry? I do laundry every single day. I don't know how we have so much laundry, but we do, and it seems like it's never ending in my house. Am I the only one who can never fully complete laundry, or are any of you like that? I'm now moved on to my living area and I'm just picking up any of the little things that are left out. My son was playing Play-Doh so this was the time for me to tackle this room and pick up any of his toys that he had left out. He's really good about picking up his toys but we've kind of been slacking a little bit and I just was busy doing other stuff and didn't worry about making him pick anything up. My son has recently been in a phase of putting all of his toys underneath the love seat in the couch. I don't know how he does it, but I turn away for one second and then there's like 200 small little pieces of toys underneath the love seat and couch. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just picking up and organizing all of the little puzzle pieces and stuff that he had crammed under there when I was making dinner and then I'm just vacuuming any little crumbs and stuff that got underneath. Got drunk and ended up at your place. 
again more toys underneath furniture and I'm just taking all of the little puzzle pieces and stuff that he put underneath the couch and getting those all organized up all of his toys I'm going through and dusting all of the tabletops and any of the decor that I have out to dust all of the surfaces I'm using a knockoff brand of pledge and it works just the same Why'd you have to go and drive me so crazy? Now I'm feeling lost without you and I just can't be Without you, baby, won't you all night long? Won't you all night long? Tell me Why'd you have to go and drive me so crazy? Now I'm feeling lost without you and I just can't be wiped off or dusted my blinds in a little while so I'm taking the all-purpose cleaner from Mrs. Myers in the scent mint. I'm just spraying that on a towel and just wiping over any of the dust or little spots that are on the blinds. I'm not doing anything crazy, just a quick little dusting of them. I'm cleaning the window with some Windex. My son is the perfect height and his little fingerprints are always on the window. I'm pretty much cleaning the window daily. I'm standing on one of my bar stools to dust the blinds and wipe down the windows. I am kind of short and my windows are really tall so I'm using my bar stool so that I can get up and actually clean all of them. I did have a step stool but I have no idea where it went when we moved so for now I'm just standing on the bar stool. Now I'm moving into my dining area. My son was just playing Play-Doh in this room while I was cleaning the living room. So there is Play-Doh all over the floor that I need to get picked up now and that's what I'm going to be doing here. My son really loves playing with Play-Doh and I like it too, I just hate cleaning up after it. I'll have swept, vacuumed, mopped, I'll think I have it all cleaned up and then I'm finding the little tiny pieces all over my house. If any of you have kids, does this happen to you or am I the only one that has a Play-Doh issue in my house? Now I feel lost without you and I just can't be Without you, baby, won't you all night long, won't you all night long Woo! I'm wiping down my kitchen table and scrubbing off any of the little sticky stuff that's in between the crack where the leaf normally goes and I'm using the all-purpose cleaner from Mrs. Myers and the scent mint once again. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead. Go and catch me, baby. I've got my table all cleaned and put back together. I'm sweeping up any Play-Doh that my son threw on the floor. I like to take a broom and sweep it up before I start vacuuming. And after I get done sweeping, I'll be vacuuming my entire downstairs. <laughs> I do vacuum just about every single day. I do have two dogs and my son who's three, so there's little pieces of stuff all over the floor. 
every single day and my dogs are in and out constantly and right now with it being spring we have a lot of grass that gets tracked in so I do have to vacuum just about every day. Here I'm vacuuming my couch and underneath the cushions. I don't do this every day. This I do about once or twice a week just depending on how bad it is or if I let my son eat crackers or something on the couch they get underneath the cushions. So I'm just getting all of that vacuumed up now. Finishing up vacuuming all of the floors and then I'm going to be moving on to steam mopping. I've said this before in some of my past cleaning videos, I love my shark steam mop. This is so easy to use and you don't have to wait a long time for the floors to dry and it's just a lot easier than using a mop with a bucket so I highly recommend the shark steam mop if you have floors like mine and I have all tile floors throughout my entire lower level. Wrapping up my cleaning by taking out the trash. I hope this video gave you motivation to go clean your own home. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I would love it if you would subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified of my future videos and also go follow me on Instagram and share this video with your friends so that they can have some motivation for cleaning too. Thank you so much for watching. safe with me you're the only reason yes you're the only reason baby you're the answer to my prayer.